Hello everybody, welcome to the series on what was happening in the business world when you were sleeping last night. Well, US President Joe Biden and the Chinese President Xi Jinping have met for the first time since Joe Biden has become the President. Well, this meeting has a lot of background and history associated to it in the context of the growing tensions between US and China. In this video, I'm going to talk about a few snippets from the last decade which led to where we are today and also what's the impact on the business world. If we go back to 2021, the US and China bilateral trade was worth up to $550 billion and it just didn't pop up in 2021. This was built on a basic healthy relationship between both these governments over the last few decades. However, tensions started to kick in when Donald Trump became the president. His entire political campaign was based on making America great again. To a large extent of it was basically giving a lot of jobs in the American context. So what he did was he started taxing the products that were coming from China and China government did the same. It added a lot of taxes to the goods that were coming from the US. Well, there was one group of goods which got a lot of attention that is semiconductors aka microchips. Now these microchips are used in retail, e-commerce, healthcare and one other sector that is military. Yes, the growth, the advancements in the military technology are based a lot on the advancements in the semiconductor industry and this growth is led by the American government. So what Donald Trump did was he said we are banning all sorts of sales of semiconductor chips to the Chinese companies which are associated with the Chinese military. However, Chinese military, Chinese government could also get their hands by bypassing these laws because world 70% of semiconductor manufacturing happens in Taiwan. So they could directly get access to these factories and get these kind of advanced technologies in their hands, thereby developing their military. In the last one year though, the situation was changing and it demanded more attention from the American government. Number one, the Russia-Ukraine war. Russia-Ukraine war, before it got started, 20 days before the war, Russia and China got into a no limit agreement where both the countries came and said that we will support each other in terms of military, geopolitical conflicts and trade as well without questions. Now with this particular background when Russia has attacked Ukraine there is a potential for the military from Chinese governments actually being implemented on the war ground in Ukraine. So where does the technology for these military equipment come from? It's the US and hence Joe Biden last month has decided that it's one of his biggest decisions to date that hey they are banning all sorts of semiconductors and also semiconductors manufacturing equipment sales to Chinese companies irrespective of whether they are private, public or associated with the government themselves. Now in the context of this kind of scenario the relationship between these two countries is at best quite tensed. Now if you add on the scenario of what's happening in Taiwan. Well Taiwan is a strategic ally to US just like it has a few other strategic allies within the Southeast Asia region such as Japan, Singapore, Philippines. Now with the potential likelihood of China invading Taiwan, US has to support its ally otherwise the other friends in the region might say that hey yes US might not be so trustworthy. So it's not only of strategic importance, but it also gives its headway into the overarching Southeast Asian context. Now, with these things in the board and with what happened with the Joe Biden's administration regarding the decision of semiconductors last month, this meeting happening itself was a great deal. The, both the leaders coming and sitting in front of each other and talking about these things itself was appreciated by the world. They came together and they said that, hey, we might have our own disagreements, but let's work together for the betterment of the world. The second thing they also mentioned was that whatever might be the case, we still both US and China do not encourage or do not want any of the world leaders to use nuclear technologies in the wars. Now, the third thing is in the next few years, there is an American election coming and if potentially Donald Trump becomes the president again or any other Republican 
candidate for that matter then the relationships might get worse even more so they want to fix the relationships before they are broken too much hence these kind of conversations are super important for not just you and me but for the overall world as well and if these cold wars continue and if us and china decide to break their ties the gdp impact would be approximately around 5% on us and on the overall world as well the numbers are pretty high and they don't seem to be encouraging i hope you like this video if you want me to make more such videos if you want me to add more details regarding this context please do let me know in the comments box and i'll probably make a part 2 of this video take care guys please press on the like button and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye